If you have been struggling with chronic fatigue, no matter how many supplements you're doing, no matter how many B12 shots you're doing, no matter what people are telling you to do, you just cannot seem to wake up with energy, have enough energy to get throughout your day, you feel like you are crashing as soon as you get home, you could sleep 12 to 14 hours a night and you still aren't getting that resolve that you're looking for. This has been one of the biggest struggles that I face in my practice. Almost every single person on their intake form writes down that they want more energy. I mean, who doesn't want more energy? But this is a next level fatigue. Yes. So what I didn't realize is that there are other viruses that are underlying that could be contributing to all of this. And the problem is, is we can run all of the blood work and it will never get tested for. It's just yeah. not on people's radar. So I've been sending a lot of my patients over to microcell sciences to do the live blood analysis. And it's been really, really amazing what Shannon has been seeing, which I remember learning about it in school. And now I seem to be attracting it in my office. You are, yes. yeah. So uh, we look at a lot of um, monotype symptoms as well. So that kind of may seem crazy. What? You're, you're looking at mono. My fatigue is coming from that. But what we have found is, is in today's times, we're seeing a lot more of what we call EBV. It's called Epstein-Barr virus. And it is what mono was when, when we were kids. Now, EBV is so different than when you know I was a teenager because when I was a teenager, you would get it as a kissing disease. But unfortunately, it's not like that anymore. You can get EBV from eating out, cutlery, from um, glasses, you know, certain things. If, if your mom or dad have it, it tends to run through the household. But the, the, the interesting thing with EBV is it can activate. So what happens is you may have a very small sore throat, things like that. It never comes to fruition of coming out like mono. And then you just kind of walk around with fatigue. What we see in live blood, and I'm going to show you a couple pictures in a few moments. Um, what we see in live blood is this is an immune type of thing. And what happens is the virus actually lines the certain type of immune cell called a lymphocyte, which I'm going to show you this picture. So see in this picture here, uh, you're noticing that circle in that circle you're seeing white around it that white is the viral fluid from EBV now what's amazing because we're looking at it live is I can see EBV or we can see EBV prior to the antibodies hitting this is huge because we're looking at it live so there's certain cues that'll tell us if mono is active in your system it will also tell us if it's dormant in your system or if it's beginning to activate now, other forms with the EBV, it taxes and it puts a lot of strain on your adrenal glands. It puts a lot of strain on your thyroid. And there's a lot of research out there that your thyroid may be hyperactive or underactive due to the EBV virus stressing that endocrine system, okay? So by addressing EBV, as Andrea and I do, through usually herbs is what we'll use, um, and, and doing kind of antiviral things, we need to add, of course, diet needs to change a little bit. We need to be eating specific type of potassium and magnesium type of foods to help address these viruses. Uh, but EBV is pretty fascinating. You'll hear a huge thing about celery juice right now in regards to EBV. And yes, that works, but in my personal research side things, you need to be, EBV is very strong. Mm -hmm. And you need to be doing more things than just celery juice. EBV also goes hand in hand with strep throat, goes hand in hand with cockle forms. And using these, these big words, these are microbiology bacteriums, we see bouncing off of the virus in the live cell. So with the with EBV, it's really important for us to knock it down, to have support your spleen and make sure we're definitely having you release that virus out of the system. It's not an overnight thing. This does take a little bit, but a lot of our clients I'm finding within two weeks are noticing huge increase of energy levels by just addressing the virus stuck in the spleen in the body. And just think about it this way. It may not be EBV, but with live blood, we can also assess for just bacterial yep. infections or viruses or, or parasites that we're getting exposed to from food and animals and you know just living as humans. Yep. 
The point is, is if your immune system is constantly under fire, it is going to use up all of your resources, energy. all of your nutrients and your energy, and that's what could be causing that chronic fatigue. Yep. I don't want you to be tired any longer. Shannon doesn't want you to be tired any longer. We want you to book in with us, ideally a back-to-back -back live blood first, the naturopath second, so we can get a handle on what is actually causing the issues that you're struggling with and have been struggling with for months yep. so that we can start addressing it and treating it right away. And putting those puzzle pieces together because sometimes you'll go to Western medicine and all your blood work comes up normal. And this is where we're looking at the in-betweens. We're looking at the more of the microbe of the body and how it's all functioning, including the thyroid. So if you would like to get your whole health assessed by us and our team, please send a message below, just say yes, or send us a private message and we will get in touch with you right away and book you in. We look forward to meeting you.